Let's see, where are we going? We're going over there. Okay. Um, but yes, I made a small announcement. Um, I've got plans to do, to make a very, very big move and a very big, um, I'm basically taking a shot at something that I have confidence that I can get. I just need to make sure I nail, um, every aspect of it, um, because it is a very... It's an opportunity not a lot of people get, and this was kind of on happenstance. I knew it would happen eventually, um, and I'm not going to talk about it too much because I don't want it to be like, oh, I'm doing this thing and I don't want to get like super overhyped for it. This is just for, this is more for me. Um, but yes, that's an announcement. I'm sure you saw me make that announcement. Um, if you're a part of the Discord, if you're not a part of the Discord, however, just go ahead and type exclamation point Discord if you would like to be. Um, that will get you the link. And it's Tachibana-san. Tachibana. Hey, thank you so much, Psychotic. Tachibana. Why are you here? The police have thoroughly scoured this place top to bottom. Any evidence that might may be linked to the culprit is gone. I know that much. I have looked into the Kuze using my network. If he really is the one who framed you, he must have hired a killer to perform this hit. And yet, Kuze left no sign of any such activity. Meaning what? Meaning, the one responsible for setting you up is not likely to be him. Someone other than Kuse is behind this. What? That is all the information I have at present. I wanted to pass that on to you in person. Hold on, I think it's just a touch quiet. Let me just bump that volume up really quick. A little more. Uh, let me know if it's too quiet, too loud. Uh, I'm trying... I've been messing around with my audio for the past couple days, so... Um, I am constantly having to readjust levels, especially with different games that have different volumes. It's a little difficult. Uh, I did think it would... Okay. Oda sure didn't seem to think so. I have yet to inform Oda-san of this, but as it happens, I have located the owner of the empty lot. Oh, damn. Uh, though for various reasons, I have yet to make contact. Regardless, if we can find them and acquire the empty lot, the Dochima family will come to us, hat in hand, begging us to sell it. Such power is the power this plot can wield, which is why Kiryu-san, I must insist you that you stay alive until we can broker such a deal. Oop. Or does that seem like an unreasonable request? How long until you pin can pin down the lot's owner? Give me one day. I must ask, however, that you tell no one, not even Nishikiyama-san or Kashiwagi-san. You realize I could just sell you out to Oawano and get taken off the Dojima hit list altogether. If you were the sort of man to do that, I certainly would not be visiting you in such a place as this. I really didn't want to go back to school tomorrow, but my break is over. Yeah, school's starting up for a lot of different people, myself included. Not this week, but uh, it's starting up, um, I think a week from now, actually. Um, not next Monday, but the Monday after. All I can do now is wait for word from Tachibana-san. Head home and lie low there. Um, is is my stream doing okay? Is it like buffering every now, like every so often? Um, because my my uh, bit rate is going up and down and up and down. No, it's fine. Okay, well, Boy. as long as that's the case. Um, cause I'm watching it and it's 
going orange and then green and then orange and then green because I've got a little button that tells me that, you know, my stream quality is doing, like, my stream quality is going up and down and up and down. Okie dokie. As long as it's fine, we will keep going. You just planted a waltz past us without a word. You want through here? You gotta pay the toll. A shakedown? I feel bad for the guy, but I really can't... I can't really afford to get involved right now. Oi! Oi! You mute or something, Blondie? If you don't want to get hurt, let's see some cash already. Ho <laughs> oh, ho! If you insist, I'll just be sure you pick it all up, hmm? Eh? Huzzah! Oh, whoa, 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 it's money. Eh? Right on. I've never seen so much dough in one place. Huh? Whoa, hey, had my hand on that one first. Keep your grubby mitts off my dough. Huh? Shut up and move your freaking leg. <laughs> oh, my, my. Peasants truly are a sordid lot. Uh. Hmm? Oh ho, did you want some of my money as well? Yeah. No. Then I shall be on my merry way. Till next time. Cheers. Oi. Wait. Do you always throw wads of cash to clear the road like that? But of course, why? At the point you cough up money, it's no different from getting mugged. Oh, ho, ho, I suppose commoners just can't understand. Uh? Excuse me. You see, when you're not just wealthy, but obscenely rich, Physical capital is like dust. It accumulates, gets in the way, really. That was loose change. I won't miss it. Cool. On the other hand, having my precious time wasted by these base ruffians like them is a serious loss. If I can buy that time back with coin, why, I'll pay as much as it takes. Buying time, literally. Precisely so, why not give it a try, if you're curious. Yeah. Hmm, give what a try. Let's fly with great whopping wad of wealth. Wad of wad of, I can't be Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I wouldn't. It's not just, I'm just not that in big, not in that big a rush, honestly. Mm -hmm. hmm, truly, have you never been out on a stroll and felt other pedestrians were in your way? Not ever? Well, sure, I guess I have a few times. Ho <laughs> ho! You see, then give it a try right now. I'm sure you'll feel the thrill of sending those human hurdles scattering. Hmm. hmm. Sure, but I don't have that much cash to burn on a whim. Not to worry. I will be your financer this one time as a special gift. You need focus only on enjoying the rush of flinging cash confetti. Okay, deal. If you're really going to pay for it, I'll give it a go. While walking around the city, take a handful of money and fling it into the air. Try using it to attract the women behind you. Yes, is this... <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Look at them freak out. Uh... Neat. We're just throwing money. Now simply strut past them while they're busy scrabbling over each other to pick it all up. Neat. We have learned to throw money by judiciously wasting money. You can buy your way out of most unnecessary conflicts. Keep in mind the next time you're in a hurry. Nice. Special move, throw money. I enjoy his name is Mr. Moneybags. Oh, truly magnificent money blasting. For a moment I completely forgot you were merely another pedestrian. Hmm. Is this what being rich is like? Honestly, I can't say it feels very good to waste it like that. Perhaps, but there are t but aren't there times where you're far too hurried to be embroiled in petty squabbles of the underclass? That's not okay. Yeah. Right? Mm. Really, whoever said time is money is an utter buffoon. Time is the far more precious resource. It's finite. Fair enough. I can see a weird sort of logic to that. And then I've made my case. Take my advice if you're ever in danger of being dragged into a meaningless fight. Then just let loose with a heaping helping of legal tender. So you're clearly loaded. But how'd you earn all that cash? Mm. Oh, I take it you're caught in a case of money fever. Uh. Maybe. I'm just thinking it'd be convenient if there was a quick way to make some extra money. 
Common sense tells me that's crazy to wish for, but I might as well ask. Oh, but there is. Seriously? The very epitome of high risk, high return. It's been my golden goose and now I dine on diamond foie gras. Foie, foie gras? Is that how that's pronounced? It being head for theater square. If you're truly a man of means, you'll find your way from there. What am I looking for? Oh, you'll know it when you see it. A paradise exclusively reserved for the upper echelons of wealth and taste. Though naturally it isn't my only source of income, I have quite the div diverse portfolio. Oh, I, or I should say, we, put most of our capital to work in a certain system that gives rise to considerable profits. If you wish to hear more about that as well, drop by Vincent. You'll find me there most of the time. Yeah, no, for real, like, beating up people seems to also be very lucrative, so I think we're going to continue doing that, right? Vincent. Got it. This has been a most stimulating use of my time. Ta-ta! Tachibana may have new intel tomorrow, but that doesn't mean everything will be over then. I should tuck away as much cash as I can now so I'm ready for whatever comes. He said I'd find a way to make big money at Theater Square. It's worth a look. Hold up. Uh, I need settings. Settings. Uh, graphics. There we go. And then let me just adjust my game capture real quick. Make it just a touch more centered. There we go. That should look a little better. Shoot that guy. No, he, he just taught us how to throw money. <laughs> ah. We don't want to shoot the guy that taught us how to throw money. Plus, he sounds like he's going to help us make a, uh, make a lot more money. Oh, wait. Wasn't there... Wait, who's... Is it you? Alright. Sir, stand up. Now, I think, I think you need a nap. Now, let me help you up. Another nap. No, not sleeping yet? Alright, let me help you up. And how about nap time now? All right, cool. <laughs> I love that grab chain so much. Um, I was fairly certain we passed a side quest at one point while we were running around yesterday. Um, or not yesterday, but the last time. And I can't remember where the side quest was, to be perfectly honest. So we'll go buy mush more mushrooms from Mushroom Man. Oh, curious son. Got some great mushrooms in stock. You want some? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll buy some Miyatake. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Well, I'd better go stock up on mushrooms. Don't be a stranger, curious son. And remember, for magnificent mushrooms, uh, Kitajima's your man. See you later, Kitajima. <laughs> He's really trying his best. Super cool. Goodbye, Mushroom Man. Ah, it's like there's a dude getting beat up over here. Let's go beat these guys up instead. Oh God. <laughs> Stomp on his face and call it a day. See, look at that. We made two million yen. Almost. And a Swiss watch, too. You just... Use that. Use that. We'll use that because we don't need the mushrooms. Well, cool. We got a Swiss watch. This lady needs help now. So let's help her out, too. Hmm. 
Really, I'm not doing this because I want to save the lady. I'm just doing this so I can beat more people up. Because it is cathartic. Ooh, that's a wall. That's a, oh no wait, that's a truck. Oh, I'm pretty sure that man. I don't I don't I don't see any bikes. It's fine. We've got this sign right here. He was looking for one. <laughs> well, let's make sure. Let's help him find one. Yeah. Sir, I'm gonna need you to sit down. All right. Ultimate weapon bikes. All right. Oh God. <laughs> uh, he's not dead, but um, he won't be walking ever again. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I think. Oh, let's go check the business out real quick. Uh, yeah. Oh, and maybe we can turn in a postcard. Fate worse than death, never walking again. <gasps> oh, you're attacking me within arm's length of a bike? You look a little tired. I see you want the bike treatment as well. <laughs> yeah, we want to go this way. <laughs> Bikes to win game. Absolutely, that's how this game is played. If you're in arm's length of a bike, you win.